I know. With all of this energy, we're going to fly. Huh? How about that? Let's do some flying in the hallway. Alright. Let's do this. The Buhai Squad. This is such a breeze for her. Watch this. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. All right, Ligaya, you know what to do. She loves sitting down there. You know what to do, okay? Is run. Here she comes. All right, such a good, good girl. Yeah, very good. You're awesome. See, all that built-in mating energy gets a bird flying. Wow, guys, this bird is serious. So hormonal. Look at her. Shall we do more flying? Would you like to fly again? Let's fly some more. Let's try another, another flight. Maybe something a bit more challenging. Step up, step up. Good girl. Now it's all the way at the end of the hallway. It's gonna be a longer flight for you, but I know you're full of energy. So here she comes. Here she comes. Ah! Oh, she got up. You caught up with me. This is gonna be, this would have been so much easier with two people. You're so good. I'm so, so proud of you, Ligaya, and your flying skills. Look guys, she's panting. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but birds are like humans. You have them sprint a certain distance and they're tired, especially if they're not used to physical exercise. Like wild birds, I mean, they need to be able to fly long distances to escape predators and all of this, to go find food. But indoor birds, it's important to keep them at least like moderately um, exercised because they need to be fit, you know what I mean? For those pe people who want to free fly their parrots, that you, you build up to that because the birds have to build on their endurance. It's kind of like CrossFit. <gasps> have to have athletic birds. How was that, Ligaya? You got all your flan energy out, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I guess not. Here, Ligaya, something else to get your energy out. It's a popsicle stick. Yes, there we go. I'm letting her play with some old toys. Do you guys remember this toy? From her chick hood. She removed the bell. She's like, no, I want human contact. Go ahead, play with your toy. Oh, you totally planned for that. Don't lie. Oh, and here comes the rooster. Let's see if there's gonna be an act of jealousy going on here. Mr. Hope, would you like to play with that toy? Do chickens play with toys? I wonder. The guy, don't tell me. That is your younger brother. And a different species at that. <laughs> like a little dog. How about this? Remember this? The old shoes and like random thingamabobs. Go. Go, go, go. See guys with parrots, when they become hormonal like this, you gotta get them to get out their energy ASAP in like constructive ways. Otherwise, they'll be destructive. They'll destroy things, destroy your furniture, destroy your face, which you don't want. And the guy is a sweetheart, but for a parrot, she's got a lot of energy. And of course, this will keep her busy right here. This is a new foraging toy that I've been waiting to use. Foraging toys are good because it like gets the bird thinking, it stimulates them, it's good enrichment, helps them use their brain, their body to get at the goodies that are inside. Like the bird can see that there's a big piece of apple and carrot in here. And so Ligaya has to work and use her brain and her muscles and coordination to try to solve how to get to this, how to get to the goodies. This will be good. Yes, go. It's also a fruit day for her today. She's allowed to have fruits uh, two or three times a week. Can't be too much though. It's just a snack because uh, too high in sugar. Go. Yeah, so good. <laughs> Get that energy out. Go, go, go. She'll be at this for at least an hour, I expect. Gee, she opened it. I mean, it's bound by magnets. I guess these are for smaller birds, maybe? Oh, the guy, uh, this is not for African greys, smart African greys like you. Okay, noted.
Also, just a note, I removed the bells because for one, they're tarnished. Um, and two, like, they can swallow the clappers. You see these things here that cause the bell to ring? They're like little pieces of metal. Oh, there it is. Don't want them swallowing this. Even though she's pretty good at handling things with her mouth, you know, just in case. Yes! Hi there, Mr. Hope. Oh, your chest is nice. I think I'll bathe you with the shampoo, huh? Horse shampoo. Oh, poo. A present. He will leave these every few minutes. <laughs> Just gotta be diligent cleaning it up. Mm -hmm. Look at Mr. Hope. <laughs> I love watching him sit there. He's just a big, like, blob of feathers and chicken meat. <laughs> Mr. Hope, you're hilarious. Please don't start crowing yet. The moment this rooster starts to crow, we cannot keep it here. We'll have to uh, relocate it to the farm or do something. Give it to Kuya Ryan, our driver. Not sure. Till the farm is done, we'll see. But guys, if you saw one of our previous vlogs, you'll know that upon further research, this chicken here, this rooster, is called a broiler chicken. They've been bred over the years to grow super fast because they're a meat chicken. In 45 days, they're already full grown. And sadly, because of their inbreeding over the years, um, they develop a lot of health problems really fast and they grow too fast than they're able to handle physically. So they develop all sorts of ailments, bone deformities, all of this. Like they grow too big for their bodies to handle. So sadly, Mr. Hope, his lifespan is less than a year. Some people have kept broiler chickens for over a year. It's so sad. So not sure if Mr. Hope Hope will be around. I mean, by some miracle, that would be awesome by the time the Mabu High Squad farm is complete. But for the future, if we are going to get pet chickens, uh, like chickens that are pets and not food, the breeds to get, based on my research, are barred rocks. They look like great pets. Easter eggers, which lay eggs, and silkies. So beautiful, fancy chickens. These chickens grow slowly and they live longer. Hello. Hi. Oh, laundry. All right. Salamat. Guys, did you know here in the Philippines, laundry can be collected by a service. They do the laundry. It comes back folded and smelling good in a couple days. Salamat. I don't think I've ever done laundry in like 10 years. <laughs> Seriously. Yes, even our bedding's nicely folded, our towels smelling great. Love it. So for a big comforter, towels and clothes, all of that cost $30 USD. Yeah. All right. So RJ, when we live in the Mabu High Squad farm, are we going to do our own laundry or? Oh yeah, yes. We are. We'll We're not going to do a service. A big washing machine. I'm sure there are services out in the provinces too. Yeah. Though. Hey, Mabu High Squad. Yes, there's Audrey Garcia. Mm -hmm. uh, today is a big day, mm -hmm. and uh, we are heading to do a few things today. And we're taking you guys along with us, Mabu High Squad. Today, we are going to 